so hello welcome again to this uh, new video uh, in this video i'll be explaining that how i can make a android application uh, if you don't have any coding knowledge also you can make an android application with a very easy and convenient way so for that what you need to go there is one website called appinventor.mit.edu so basically uh, this uh, website is developed by massachusetts institute of technology and uh, it was built on a project then they made it uh, open source for everyone so the tagline also anyone can create android phone and iphone apps with uh, global impact so this is uh, the thing uh, here how to create the app so uh, go to this website appinventor.mit.edu i'll post the link in the description also so just click on create apps so once you create app so you can see under this i have already created our uh, one app it is there so uh, what I'll do, I'll create a start new project. So we'll be uh, creating a new project. And here if you can see, I have logged in. Okay, so if you have, uh, you don't have an account here, then you have to log, log in here. So how to start a new project, just click on a new project and it will ask a project name. So I'll just keep, I'm going to create one project for a Bluetooth uh, communication. So we can control the device so using Bluetooth, control our user 32. So I'll write here, bluetooth okay then uh, click on ok so i hope these things are visible let me just make it little bit bigger for you okay so when this uh, uh, you click on new project then you land up on this screen so here you can see so left side the three sections are here one is this left side so in this area the buttons and uh, the things are there which will be used to create the app and this is basically i say this is the canvas where you are going to design the app and here it will show which component you have chosen to create your app and here are some settings of the component you can do okay so uh, to create one bluetooth app, app what is the basic need so we have we should have a list of bluetooth devices we can select the devices and then we can have a on off switch through which we can control the bluetooth device bluetooth uh, device for usb 32 so for that what i need okay so uh, first i need a list speaker see here one list speaker is written i'll zoom in a bit so okay now you can see this list speaker is written there so i have to select this list speaker so why this list speaker is required because uh, when i click on this list speaker it will give me a list of bluetooth devices and then we can select which device we want to connect so with that you can see there are settings options are there so many settings are there for the for this text for list speaker so many settings are there so i can change this font as bold so it will change it to here and i can make it italic also it will change it here font size i can change okay default type fail uh, so everything is there so this width i'll change it to field parent so that what will happen it will just be like this okay and uh, then you can change the name of the button also i'll write here bluetooth devices so once it is connected so it will give me the list of bluetooth devices so this is a button we have created next is that i need a on and off button so for that i'll take button you can see button is written here i'll just drag one button here and i'll name the button as on because once i press this then the bluetooth light will be on okay the button name is on and width i'll make it to field parent so it will be like this and if any other changes you want uh, you want to make you can make and the background color also you can change here let's say i'll make it green so green is on and one more button i'll take and i'll name that as off i'll make the color as let's say red so on it is off which i'll make fill parent so that it looks good and then this one i'll write off so here this app is created with basic things that is required and after this also you can have uh, uh, different different uh, uh, things here you can add images also you can add ba links, background image also so so many things are there okay so uh, i this is these are the basic things i am just telling you but you can just have a look on this all the things and you can uh, create more uh, interactive and more beautiful apps also
so this video will be dedicated only to say how you can design that page so here you can see screen one is there means everything is happening in screen one if i add a screen here then one pressing one button it will go to the next screen and there you can design so so many things are there to uh, play off with you can do that okay now our goal is to bluetooth devices so for bluetooth devices i have added uh, this buttons now i need to add the bluetooth also so to go to connectivity and add the bluetooth client so make sure you add the bluetooth client not the bluetooth server bluetooth client i will add here okay so if you add the bluetooth bluetooth client basically it will not show in this window because this is a hardware device that is that will be used from the mobile so now we have a list picker we have button we have bluetooth client and all things are there so after that what i will do so you can see here we need to uh, one block is it so what we need to do now we need to design the code for this okay that means we need to write the logic how to do this when i say write the logic you don't need any kind of uh, uh, programming knowledge just you need to have the logic that what is going to happen okay so once you click the block it will come to this window so basically this window uh, we are going to develop our logic so how to develop the logic so you can see so here the list speaker is there button one button two and bluetooth everything is there the three things we have added in the designer so all those things are available here so first is what so i need to select the bluetooth device so to select the bluetooth device i need the list speaker so you can see when i click on the list speaker so it is giving me so many options so basically this uh, designing is uh, click and uh, drag just solving like a puzzle you can see this looks like a puzzle so first i'll see when list speaker before picking means before selecting any object what is this button will do okay so i'll take list speaker before picking so just click on that and place it here i'll place at the top okay i'm just uh, zooming it out so that uh, i can place everything in this window only okay now when list speaker one when list speaker one means what is this means it means when i click on list speaker one and dot before picking dot before picking means before selecting any bluetooth object what is going to happen okay so what it will do so it will set means the list speaker one button what it will do so it will set the list speaker one to elements bluetooth elements so when it is a bluetooth it is uh, called as elements means it is different elements will be there list speaker one is set to elements so you can see here set list speaker one elements just uh, select this one and place it here so you can see when i keep it near this here you see one yellow this, this, this will be place here if it is correct then sorry not this one so it is list picker one dot element set list picker one element this one i have to select okay so before picking list picker one elements to which elements so it will be bluetooth client address name okay so it will be bluetooth element so i'll write bluetooth client address name so if i select this one i can place it so what is going to happen here when you click that button so list picker one will set to element which element to the bluetooth client one means one bluetooth device is connected our mobile and then address name okay so now it will show me the all the address names of the bluetooth devices after that what you need to do so now i have the address so i have to do i have to do the logic once you use the address what to do so after picking so if you select one address then what will happen after picking then list figure previously it was set to element and here it will be set to selection so here set list picker to selection okay so now here list picker was just going to elements now the list picker will be selection so after you select one device from here so now the device list is here we have selected it for here 
so now you uh, select the device then what to do then we have to connect that to the list picker okay connect that to the bluetooth devices so bluetooth uh, means uh, connecting for i have to give one command that is bluetooth client connect address so now list figure one is selected bluetooth client connect address is there so it will connect that now you can see the puzzle is still empty so connect to which one so list picker one selection it will connect so here i will go list picker one selection So list picker one selection. So now what is the process has happened? Set list picker one elements to Bluetooth client address name. So it will show the address. Once the address is there, then after ticking, we have to pick up the address. So list picker one will be setting to selection. Once the selection is done, it will call the Bluetooth to connect to that address. Which address? Whatever address we have picked it up here, and then you uh, it will connect to which address it will give a ad connection request to the bluetooth uh, of your mobile where to this list picker one selection whichever was selected will go it there now once the selection is completed then what will happen we need to configure that after selection what is happening so after selection if i press the button one then it will send on signal and the button one it will send the off signal so i'll select the button one now so button one what will happen is button one when button one click okay when button one click then do what to do we'll see when button one click then what we need to do we need to send some information to the bluetooth client that is connected so here we'll, we'll say call bluetooth see call bluetooth send text so we'll send some text here. okay and what text to send so uh, basically if it is on we need to send one if it is off we need to send zero so here i'll select as text and the first one you can just see so text what text it will send one okay so it will just send one that means now once it is the on button it will send one to the device next is what again uh, i have to select this button two here and button to when we click the button to so same thing i can copy it and paste it here but in this case it will send zero so everything is same but when press button to it will send zero so now you can see this uh, whole system is uh, ready now for uh, bluetooth communication okay so now how to um, take this app to the mobile so now i have here you can see that built is file is there so for a mobile android you can just use this android apk so i'll click on this so it will build one android apk file for me so okay so you have to go to design I think I have some net problem. Just uh, let me check out that. Yeah, actually, internet uh, internet is not working. Just give me a second. Yeah, fine. So internet is restored now. So I'll click on build APK. So it will uh, create the APK file. It will take some time for that. So for that time, I am just pausing the video and I'll start again once it is ready. Okay, now you can see this application is ready. Once the application is ready, you will have uh, this window. So, what is in this window? One is download APK file and another QR code is given. So, uh, I'll show my mobile screen now. So, you can just scan this QR code from your mobile. So, I am trying to scanning that. So once you scan that it will give you a link and uh, that link is nothing but uh, it's a link to download your application so i'll download this and i'll open this now so 
to give permission okay. so go to downloads reception is downloaded so you can see the name of the application is bluetooth that i have given so if i download install this application you can see i'll dismiss this now so whatever i have uh, created here the same thing is in my mobile now so i can now on and off uh, bluetooth is not connected so it is showing okay so here you can see now the same thing is available here so this is my phone screen now okay you can see this is my phone screen so these things are available here and this is available there the list of bluetooth is can be shown here so we'll stop part here uh, that completes the how to you can make a android application and in the next video i'll tell uh, with this application how you can connect to usb 32 for uh, programming and controlling one uh, programming and controlling your bluetooth usb 32 bluetooth and the inbuilt led will try to control if inbuilt led can be controlled then you can uh, control anything else also okay so fine with this will stop the video and uh, keep watching i'll update uh, the next video very soon thank you